In the summer of 2020, despite the global pandemic, 33 students and over 20 faculty and tutors connected minds online and in person around the topic of rural urbanism. Our focus was the village of Castelvecchio Calvisio in the Abruzzo region and central Italy's Apennine Mountains. The school was carried out by ISAR in partnership with Osiegin University in Istanbul, Sapienza University in Rome, the University of Florence, California Polytechnic, San Luis Obispo, the Politecnico di Torino, the University of Pescara, just to name a few. I'm Tom Rankin, architect and program director for ISAR, the International Society for Archaeology, Art, and Architecture of Rome. Together with Professor Alessandro Camas at Osiegin University, I helped coordinate the summer school. We used a variety of platforms to achieve the program's pedagogic aims. Our main lecture hall was on Zoom, augmented by Facebook Live to share our work with a larger audience. Our workshops took place in Google Meet. Our drawing boards resided in Jamboard. We used Google Drive as our library and media room. And another dedicated meet room was set up as a cafe for informal conversations. The platform ArtSteps provided us with a virtual gallery for a final exhibition, which will be launched this summer, and Padlet was our bulletin board. Together, these virtual platforms provided an analogous spatial experience, a sense of gathering in a space together to share ideas. Videos played a major role, videos which I shot with a small team on site in Abruzzo last July and then shared with our students wherever they were around the world. We visited and documented each of the towns of the Baronia di Carapelli. The videos allowed us to bring in experts, like Fabrizio Barca, economist. The mixture that you are evoking with the project that I heard that at the time that you are talking about now is the exact mixture you need. Like architect Corrado Marsigli. Abbiamo sparsi i cittadini di Castelvecchio un po' per tutto il mondo. And various others. We met with Daniele Kilgren, who founded Sextanzio, an experimental albergo diffuso that CNN recently called the perfect pandemic retreat. No, that's for sure. Economically, it was very tough. Local authorities joined us through Zoom, and local chefs fed the team on site. We're going to be setting up here, downloading music as a kind of base for the survey. On the ground in Castelvecchio, the team led by Professor Giorgio Verdiani carried out an exhaustive digital survey of the town, which was shared with students and used in the digital workshops. The resulting point cloud and drone footage will be of value for the projects that ESAR and others carry out in years to come. So, university is quite different, and that's what it is, okay? It's a place for the teaching. We are now in, in Aula Magna, the big hall, you know, de dedicated to the memory of Enrico Guidoni, our common friend and colleague. Where I am now, I'm actually at the edge of the Borgo, looking down on Carapelle. And the learning outcomes of this summer school, we're going to look at history. We're going to look at documents. we we'll just call you one by one in the order you appear in the list. Hi. Hi everybody, my name is Saskia Sponge and I'm an architect and a PhD student from Istanbul, Turkey. I am Roberta Spallone, representing the Politecnico di Torino. Uh, I am Alessandro Betta, I graduated from architecture school in Milan. I am Astrid Kankar. 
I'm studying architecture in Erdogan University. And I'm Beyza Sayinakan. I'm an architecture student in Uludağ University. Hello, I'm professor at the Faculty of Technical Sciences, University of Novi Sad at the Department of Architecture and Urbanism. And I am an architecture student from Erdogan University in Istanbul. Hello everybody, I'm Fabrizio Natta, I'm a PhD student uh, at Politecnico di Torino. Hello everyone, I'm Giulia Bertola, I'm an architect uh, from Turin. I'm Sonia Mercurio, I'm an architect and uh, I'm from Sicily, but now we are here in Castel Vecchio Calvisi. I'm a PhD student in architecture and territory of the Mediterranean University of Reggio Calabria. I'm an art historian and a PhD student in cultural heritage science at Università degli Studi di Atusha. You see in red all the inhabited land of Italy. So, okay, we were talking about the, the plan. There's a big block that Giorgio Vettiani mentioned. Castel Vecchio Casvizio is clearly the urban tissue we're talking about, and the core is clearly a planned urban tissue. From this drawing, uh, we, we see uh, the control line. Uh, sorry, everyone, I would suggest you to start doing this. So the purpose is putting this, you know, map under, let's say, under the drawing. Then you have to put them in the same orientation. So you have to rotate that map. And now we open the Google Maps to find this, uh, this building. There was a question. Uh, can you show how did you uh, do the roads again? Okay. Uh, we have defined better the morphology because we pinned all the parts that were used this, in the snapshot. And uh, to the latter, we also superposed at the lesser scanner points. Uh, we have the maquette built each. The summer school concluded with the presentation and discussion of design proposals from the five workshop teams each named after an important urban thinker, Kanija, Radovich, Monje, Goethe, and Sereni. We were lucky to be joined by architectural critics from around the world for an intensive reflection on the proposals and the issues that they addressed. Castelvecchio, Calascio, Castel del Monte, There are some sketches that we done during the um, during the summer school uh, as we uh, identified the houses that were in the middle of uh, reconstruction. And, and then the idea of the green community and ecosystem services. Going from the top of the town down to the uh, open field uh, valley. So uh, we started to develop the idea of parasite architecture. A lot of these would hold a number of different chairs or tables which can be deployed to different um, spaces. A new urban puzzle that is a digital fabricated maquette that will be located in the Western Piazza. So, you know, we've looked at projects for place making, but this also recognizes the time component in the sense that activities take place in the public space. And Tom was presenting it in a way that I could almost imagine that this you could do this in Castel Vecchio Calvicio. It does bring up the issue of uh, people starting to come here. If the model is placed somewhere, um, it's a kind of first step of getting people back 
for new people to come in and enjoy the place. I'm very happy that we've got this complexity, this mix of views. Uh, different aspects of a, of a good strategy for the, you know, the um, reorganization. Uh, the approach that, um, that showed very clearly in terms of its graphic content uh, a kind of sensitivity to design. Every town with a hundred inhabitants has its own level of administration. I just want to say thank you to everybody. Some really great work was done in the past 10 days. And we... This was really interesting and impressive to me. And I hope that one day I can come in person. Right. Thank, thank you very much. Next summer, 2021, we will repeat the experience in a hybrid manner, with some participants on site in Castelvecchio and others joining in online. In parallel with the architectural school, we're also planning an archaeological field school, excavating at a nearby church. Both of these academic programs are part of ISAR's ongoing Borgo Abruzzo project, which aims to revitalize the Baronia di Carapelle through the creation of a permanent international study center based in Castelvecchio Calvisio. We hope you'll be able to join us.